Instagram is great, but all the ads that pop up in my feed and stories nowadays have started to drive me nuts. Fortunately, I came across Instander, which is basically a modified version of Instagram, but with all kinds of added features. First off, it looks and feels exactly like the original Instagram app, but it has no ads. You can download posts and stories, and when watching Instagram Reels, it adds a seek bar to finally let you scrub through the videos. Can't believe Instagram still hasn't added that feature. On top of that, you can become a lot more anonymous, like turning off red receipts and live typing only on your end so that your friends never know that you've actually read their messages. Plus, you can watch stories or live streams anonymously without them ever knowing you're there. Pretty phenomenal app, and there's a lot more where that came from, so definitely give it a shot. There's also a great Spotify mod called X Manager, which will make you want to cancel your premium subscription because it just gives you everything for free. Like, you can bounce around from track to track on demand and skip as many tracks as you'd like without ever getting a single ad. Plus, it has a few extra features like letting you go private, which stops your friends or followers from seeing what you're listening to. You can also go completely offline to save some data, and there's even an AMOLED version to get a deep, dark experience. The only thing you won't be able to do that every premium user can is download songs for offline listening. But still, it's a must. And that's just two underrated apps that are not on the Play Store out of the 15 that I'll be showing off in this video. Trust me, you're gonna wanna stick around because it only gets better from here. So instantly drop a thumbs up to show your support and let's jump back in. Screen Copy lets you mirror your phone's screen on your computer effortlessly. You don't need root, you just download the software on your computer, enable USB debugging in the developer options, plug in the phone and launch the program. It's fully functional, mirrors the screen in full HD, has low latency, and is just as interactive as if you were holding your phone in your hand. You can even use your computer's keyboard to type things out. On top of that, you can screen record, copy and paste in both directions, and a lot more. A pretty handy little tool, especially if your phone's screen is damaged. Firefox is a great mobile browser, because unlike Chrome, it supports extensions that let you block ads or enable dark mode for every website. But with Ice Raven, a fork of Firefox, you can unlock and use a ton more add-ons. Extra extensions like Undo Close Tab, which lets you retrieve a tab that you accidentally closed. Or Translate Web Pages, which, as the name implies, lets you translate any pages in real time. You can also get Tamper Monkey, an option to return YouTube dislikes, another one that gets rid of cookie warnings, and a lot more. Plus, you can even search within the add-ons, something that Firefox doesn't let you do. It's definitely my go-to browser as of now. Seal is an excellent app for saving any types of videos from any websites, and it's very straightforward. You just paste the video's URL inside the app, configure your download preferences, like the video format, quality, etc., and have it do its thing. Simple. You can even convert the video into an audio file if you're trying to listen to a song from a music video. CloudStream is another good one for those looking to cut back on some streaming subscriptions. It lets you stream and download a ton of movies and TV shows for free. And for the most part, it works really well. Now at the gate, the app doesn't contain any streamable content, but you can add extensions and repositories to obtain these free movies and TV shows. To do this, you just go to the link right below the like button, hit repositories, select your language, and hit download and in the Home tab, select the filter icon. Finally, select SuperStream, and now you should see all those hot movies and TV shows. It even supports Chromecast so that you can bring it up on the big screen. Plus, it supports a ton of other languages so that you can really enjoy your movies. This next one is technically not an app. It's an amazing website, but it can't be turned into a progressive web app. It's called rdrop.link, and it just makes file sharing a breeze. You just tap on Drop Files here, Select the files that you want to share, and it'll give you a QR code or web link which can be shared with others to quickly download the file. As an added bonus, there's also no file size cap for sharing. Now even though there are plenty of fantastic apps outside the Play Store, there are also many that are malicious, have a ton of trackers, and can even carry malware. Even apps on the Play Store or App Store can carry a ton of unnecessary trackers or ads. So the easiest way to get rid of all that junk and stay protected online is to use a VPN. 
I personally love using Surfshark because it's the cheapest option out there. It literally only costs $2.21 per month. And since I can use it across all of my devices to secure everything, I think it's a steal. It's a great way to unblock websites that are locked in my region, like certain Netflix shows or YouTube videos that are geo-restricted. It's also a fantastic way to get the best deals when shopping online, since it'll stop websites from overcharging me based on my location or device. And if I ever get on public Wi-Fi, like a coffee shop or a hotel, I never have to worry about any online attacks or my data getting breached. Now, if you're still a bit skeptical and aren't sure how reliable their service is, Surfshark provides a 30-day money-back guarantee to give you time to see if it's the perfect fit. Actually, I'll do you one even better. If you use my link in the description and enter the promo code HTM, you'll get an 83% discount and three extra months for free. So definitely try out Surfshark now. Rooting on Android has seemed to have fallen on the wayside recently, but for those who still have it, this next app is sure to relieve some headaches. Fox's Magis Module Manager brings back the module library that's been missing from the Magis app for a while now. You can filter the mods by most recently updated, search through the list, and even download and install them right from the app. That's also a really easy way to keep your installed modules up to date. I've already shown a good amount of alternatives in this video, but what's one more? V Music is an excellent alternative to YouTube Music, and best yet, it's free and completely open source. You don't need an account, nor do you need to include any information just to listen to music. Plus, it doesn't have any ads. It's just a clean and straightforward YouTube Music client that lets you listen to any song that's available on YouTube Music and create playlists with those songs. Many songs even offer lyric support, which I'm a big fan of. I've mentioned this before in a past video, but it's too good to not include in this list, and that's Ambient Music Mod. This app brings the Pixel's infamous Now Playing feature to any Android, basically displaying the song and artist name that is currently playing in the background on your device's lock screen, and it works relatively well. Unfortunately, it won't be able to know every song that is playing, because Unlike the Pixels Now Playing feature, you are limited to its database of songs that are stored locally on your phone. But luckily, that list is still growing pretty fast, so you should at least catch the popular songs that you're unsure of. And just a heads up, you'll need the Shizuku app for those running Android 12 or higher to get this to work. If you're on anything lower than Android 12, then you need to have root access. Probably the easiest way to find many of these apps that I'm mentioning here, or other open source apps that can't be found on the Play Store, is by using F-Droid. It's an alternate marketplace for apps, but its UI is outdated. So I like to use Droidify to obtain a better looking F-Droid experience. It's got a simpler user experience design with a beautiful looking theme. And it still works just like F-Droid, letting you download the same apps, check for updates, and even review the source code for the various apps works like a charm. Now this is very debatable, but my favorite ad blocker on Android is AdGuard. And the only reason I say this is because it's the only one that clears out the blank space left behind from an ad that was filtered out of view. Every other ad blocker will just leave you with that awkward blank space. On top of that, you can tell AdGuard which apps to ignore, apply DNS filtering with custom server selections, protect your personal information when enabling stealth mode, and even apply HTTPS filtering to obtain a better ad blocking experience within your browser. The only downsides is that you can only use it for a few days before it'll make you pay for a subscription. It's, it is cheap though, and the premium version does double as a firewall. Plus it does consume a lot more battery than some other ad blockers since it's constantly monitoring my traffic. And for privacy issues, AdGuard does process your entire internet traffic to get rid of those ads and blank spaces so they can see all the pages that you visit. So if you like a free alternative, I actually made a video a few months ago going over the best ad blocker apps on Android, so I definitely recommend you check it out if you're interested. Fake Standby lets you black out your phone's screen as if it was locked, but without interrupting your YouTube video or the file that you're downloading. This way you can continue listening to your YouTube video with the screen off as if you had the YouTube Premium subscription. Or you can save a little juice while waiting for some colossal file or game to download or even while you're in a game and want to stay online while you do a boring task. It's a helpful little app that has come in handy for a few occasions. Have you ever wished you could remap your phone's buttons to perform other quick actions? Well, with Keymapper, you can do just that. 
Keymapper lets you remap the physical buttons on your phone to do anything from launching Google Assistant with a double click of the volume down button to expanding the notification shade when the volume up and down buttons are pushed in sequence. You can even use Keymapper to remap physical buttons on any Bluetooth connected devices like a keyboard, mouse, or even wireless headphones. It's a fun little app and the options are almost endless. Tired of all those duplicate apps on your phone from the bloatware that came pre-installed? Well, with a computer software called Universal Android Debloater, you can remove them all. You just activate USB debugging in your phone's developer settings, connect your phone to your PC with a USB cable, and hit refresh in the program on your PC. The screen will flood with a list of all the software packages on your phone, and then it's just a matter of going through the list and selecting the ones that you want to remove. On top of this, if you later on decide that you want one of these apps back, you can restore it with the click of a button. Just be careful what you uninstall though, because some of these system apps are required for your Android OS to run. Anyways, those are 15 underrated apps that you won't be able to find on the Play Store. I really hope you enjoyed this list. If you did, be sure to drop a thumbs up, and why not also get subscribed with the notification bell turned on. Quality videos like this get released every week, and you're not going to want to miss out. I'll be sure to leave the smartphone that I use, which is the Pixel 7 Pro within the product tag feature so that you can pick one up for yourself, sponsored by YouTube themselves. Either way, thanks for sticking to the end and I'll catch you in the next one. Kapow!